Hey guys, welcome back to SourceFed. I'm Trisha Hirschberger and it's E3 Media Briefing Day. Although everyone kind of gets briefed since it's streamed on Twitch, but the name alone makes me feel personally responsible to get the news to you. There's gonna be a lot of information in a short vid, so stay with me. Microsoft kicked everything off with a game explosion. So here's the highlight. Sunset Overdrive from Insomniac Games is a new, very self-aware, comedic open world shooter full of explosions and mutant zombie-like things. There'll be a single player campaign as well as an eight player online mode called Chaos Squad. Assassin's Creed Unity, set during the French Revolution, offers four-player co-op and an all-new game engine. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare is the next installment in the popular series, incorporating futuristic tech combined with new exoskeletons for a new era of combat. Although it was the gorgeous in-game graphics that captured my attention. Tom Clancy's The Division by Massive Games was shown off in all its third-person shooter meets MMORPG loveliness, and despite the delay until 2015, the excitement is strong and Xbox will be getting exclusive of content up front, hence, you know, it being shown at their press conference. Now, I'm a big fan of the artsy slash indie titles, and Moon Studios' Ori and the Blind Forest reminds me of Journey in a very, very good way. The unique art style and emotional soundtrack hooked me in immediately. And speaking of freaking awesome indie games, Limbo creators Play Dead have a new game, and it's titled Inside. It's very reminiscent of Limbo in that it's a small boy wandering through a dark world with creepy music, but this time it's more futuristic. Microsoft also announced Phantom Dust, an original fan favorite now returning with new graphics and new gameplay. The clip shown looked amazing, but cinematic trailers usually do. And there's no way I could list highlights of Microsoft's conference without talking Halo. Halo the Master Chief Collection combines all four Halo games in the series thus far into one seamless experience on Xbox One, including 45 campaign missions and more than 100 multiplayer maps. With original engines, you can create custom playlists and swap between classic and retouched HD maps if you so choose. The collection also includes the Halo Nightfall series, which fills in the story leading up to Halo 5 Guardians, and owners of the collection will be able to take part in the Halo 5 Guardians multiplayer beta this holiday season. Other games shown off by Microsoft include Forza Horizon 2, Dragon Age Inquisition, Dance Central Spotlight, Fable Legends, a Conquer game within Spark, a ton of indie games, Witcher 3, Scalebound, Crackdown, Super Ultra Dead Rising 3 Arcade Remix, which watch that trailer, and more. Now, at EA's event today, we got to see some early in-game footage of Star Wars Battlefront, which is slated for a 2015 release. Then we got to see some more Dragon Age Inquisition, saw some footage of how to control a party and the team heroes, and the huge open world is pretty impressive for sure. Mass Effect 4 was confirmed for PS4 and Xbox One, and some concept art was shown off, and Sims 4 was given a September release date. It's more complex than ever before, but I mean, other than that, it's just the usual control freaks go crazy playing Barbie on your computer Sims, and I fudging love every second of it. EA Sports did its usual thing with UFC and NHL 15 footage. A new PGA game using the Frostbite engine was shown, as well as Madden 15 and FIFA 15, and many will be happy to hear they kept saying football instead of soccer. A new MOBA, Dawn Gate from Waystone Games, looked pretty fun, and the developers of Mirror's Edge 2 talked about building out Faith's character for a new generation, and used actual parkour to make her movements more fluid. No release date was announced. And even though almost every Everyone saw Battlefield Hardline coming about a mile away. The fact that the beta starts today is a huge surprise. The game is like a super gritty GTA 5 multiplayer extravaganza with zip lines and choppers. Now, if you have a copy of Battlefield 4 and a PC or PS4, you can join in the beta today. And if nothing else, people will be streaming it today so you can watch it there. Now, this was just a rundown of two of the conferences of E3. Tune in to both SourceFed and SourceFed Nerd for the latest announcements, demos, hands on, and coverage live from the show floor. I'm Trisha Hirschberger and I'm gonna go rewatch those game trailers. Bye, they're all on sourcefed.com.